Hi, it's Drew at Finale. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to reset the machine activation for your Finale 3D license. Let's jump right in. To get started, I'm going to log into Finale 3D. Alright, here I have a message that lets me know that my license is activated on a different computer, which means that Finale 3D is going to run in trial mode. The reason this happens is because the first time you log into Finale 3D with a new license, it's linked to the particular computer that you log into. That linking stays in place unless you reset it, and if you try to use Finale 3D on a different computer, then you'll get this warning. Uh, if you proceed and use Finale 3D in trial mode, the saving or exporting functions are disabled, so you won't be able to save your work. So this is pretty important to fix up. So go ahead and click OK. The message is repeated again in the account information dialog box here. It says you are running in trial mode because your license is activated on a different computer. So this is another place where you can see um, what needs to be done to correct the problem. So here it shows reset your machine activation or purchase an extra machine license to use the full version. An extra machine license is for a single user who has multiple computers. So think for example a user with a desktop computer and laptop computer that needs to run Finale 3D on both of those machines. So we'll go ahead and click OK here again. And then I'm just going to cancel the sync process. Finale 3D will continue to launch. And I'm just going to close down Finale 3D because it's running in trial mode and I don't want trial mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just shut it down. All right. What I'm going to do is bring up a web browser, go to the Finale 3D website, and then log in. Log in using your Finale 3D credentials, the same ones you use to log into the software. Then go to My Account and check your machine activations. All right. On the machine activations page, you'll see the licenses that are assigned to you or the licenses that you own listed. And you'll see a variety of information about the license, including the machine that the license is currently registered to or linked to, as I mentioned earlier. You also see the time that that assignment took place. Now, I recognize this machine name as my laptop, and I'm currently working on my desktop computer. So I need to go ahead and do the reset so that I can activate Finale 3D on my desktop. So I'll hit Reset Machine. While the reset's processing, I want to go ahead and mention the notice that's on this page. You can reset your machine activation up to 12 times per year. This is important because the point of the reset machine activation is for an intermittent switching of computers. So for example, your computer broke and you had to get a new computer, or once in a while, obviously less than 12 times per year, you need to move Finale to a different computer. That's the perfect application for the reset machine functionality. It's not intended for someone who switches back and forth computers regularly. If you do switch between multiple computers regularly, it's really worth investing in an extra machine license because once you hit 12, Finale 3D is going to be stuck on that machine, the last one that you've used after the 12th reset. So here we can see that the uh, machine ID has been cleared, so we'll go ahead and try logging into Finale 3D once more. All right. All right, now you see instead of that message that came up, notifying us that we were running in trial mode and instructing us to reset the machine activation. Now it shows the license is Finale 3D Pro. So we're good to proceed to Finale 3D. So we'll just click OK. That's all there is to it. That's all it takes to reset a machine activation for a Finale 3D license. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all the other great videos on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.